to the channel and in this video we're doing a recap of Married at First Sight Unfiltered Poker Face. So if you're new here hit the subscribe button turn on your notifications. If you like the video hit that like button and also drop a comment down in the comment section below because I like to engage with my viewers and subscribers. So without further ado let's jump into this unfiltered recap. So now on this particular episode, they have the pleasure of having Haley, Ryan, and Eric. And Ryan has been on the show before, and of course, he's excited to get to talk about these things. It's Eric and um, Haley's first time on the show, and they're glad that they're able to talk about what we saw as it's the last few days of the Vegas honeymoon. So Ryan last week um, had a poker face and it went out the window after he told her in the clips that we've seen that he had never been in love before. And, or even said the L word as she has called it. And she's definitely a L word gal, you know. And so this was definitely a topic of discussion for them. So Jamie definitely said he was in the hot seat on this one at this time. And he asked her, you know, how did she feel about the fact that he said that, that he never said he loved anyone before. And uh, Ryan said that Clara definitely wears her emotions and her heart on her sleeve. So it's not surprising to him the little that he do know about her so far. But as for him opening up and being more vulnerable and sharing his emotions, because she shares her so freely, he's eventually willing to do that. And then, of course, Jamie asked Eric, you know, is this something that would be problematic to you? Eric says he's similar to Clara. He falls very easily so he can kind of see where she's coming from. But he also see where Ryan is coming from, that that word means a lot and that it's something you just don't throw around. So I think Clara is going to understand that. And I know that that word means a lot to him. And, you know, he's definitely can see both sides when it comes to this. And that's true. I mean, you have some people who wear their hearts on their sleeve and they just they just fall. And you have others that's a lot more reserved and they want to take their time and have some meaning with it. When it comes to Haley, Haley says she's similar to Ryan saying, I love you. Um, that was her exact thought um, when it came to that. And the fact that she's only said, I love you in one relationship, one time. Yeah, it's and it took her a while to get to that point. You know, she can understand that. But she said that she feels like Clara showing him the roots of how to be vulnerable, that would make him come out of his shell. So Jamie said, you and Clara seems like you're opposite when it comes to falling in love. Who do you think is going to say and share it first? And actually, Ryan said, it'll probably be something that they will arrive to together. And they'll definitely do it when they're on the same page. So he think it's going to be organic, which I can totally see that. So now, um, you know, there's now coming up the clip where we're talking about Eric's love meter off the chart last week when he was telling the guys how much he likes Virginia and how he's on cloud nine. And so we, of course, saw that clip where, um, you know, he was gushing over her, you know, that he's on cloud nine. He couldn't explain it. It's the greatest thing that he's ever had. This is why he did this. And this is why, you know, he did this and found the reason to do this show. And of course, we saw him a little tipsy. And it was so funny because the guys that was there was listening to him. And I mean, he was definitely going on and on about his feelings. Even Chris said, you know, have you been drinking? You know, and... Um, he was like, mm, you know, I had a little something. And then, of course, Vincent said that and joked that he was chocolate wasted. And that was a hilarious scene. Um, Eric did admit he was tipsy. The cat's out the bag. But, you know, he said, you know, Virginia and him was having a lot of fun. It's Vegas. I mean, what do you expect is what he said. 
And he said that, you know, it felt like he was actually on cloud nine. They hit it right off, right off the bat. They had a huge connection. And of course, he was so happy to actually start out that way. Um, and then, I mean, Jamie is saying, hey, you know what? Since you guys are happy, you, you guys need to capitalize and you need to go for it. And honestly, you can tell that he falls fast um, in this situation because of everything that he said and everything that we saw at the wedding. They had an instant connection. I mean, it just gelled so well. He was, you know, pleased with, you know, what he saw, the connection that they had both physically and then, of course, getting to know her, how they connected as well. Ryan thinks the clip of Eric expresses his passion and love for his woman. They're having a great time very early in the relationship. And he said that he's glad that his boy found a girl he really cares about like that, right? And that is the goal. And Haley uh, was asked by Jamie, you know, how is she feeling about her marriage at this point? And she said that she's filling things out. She's not on cloud nine like Eric was saying, but we're still getting to know each other. And she asked uh, Eric, you know, do you think that your feelings are moving too fast? He says, yeah, I know. I mean, it looks like that. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was from the start. So the fact that it is the way like it is right now, I just feel like I'm the luckiest guy on the planet. And with the way things are going, you know, it's just it's just great. And Haley said, you know, they had an instant connection. I mean, that's what you would hope to happen. And, you know, of course, Eric said he is definitely appreciative and um, excited about the fact of everything was going on. I mean, the families were gelling. They were all getting along. And he said he could see it in himself projecting out that he's so happy right now. So, um, yeah, he's definitely excited about the fact of his connection with Virginia. However, while Eric was on cloud nine of the marriage, Virginia was already seeing some issues on the horizon, which we, of course, saw the clip when she was with the girls talking to them. And, you know, of course, Virginia was saying the biggest issue is that she has to contend with Eric's thoughts that, you know, unless your guy friend is gay or dating one of your friends, you probably shouldn't be talking to them. And she also had the conversation with Clara about this. And Clara gave great advice about how they're going to compromise when it comes to Virginia and her friends and just maybe have him get to know uh, her guy friends. And Jamie was like, Clara, for the win, especially when it comes to girlfriends giving advice. Eric said in that moment that that conversation got a little out of hand on his part. He said he do believe guys and girls can be friends. I know I said some things that maybe kind of went against what I'm saying now. I do regret some of those things and how I said them because it came across a little differently than I actually felt. Um, and you know, Jamie said, Hey, did you know about all of these conversations? And he was like, no, I didn't know the extent. And I want to make sure that she feels comfortable as much as I can to help her feel that way. I'm glad that he was able to actually see that and look at it differently. So Jamie also asked Ryan, um, what is his take on the stance of the conversation and guys and gals being friends? friends and Ryan said that oh yeah guys and girls can definitely be friends he said a lot of his closest friends are girls but uh, he also have a lot of close guy friends as well and those different perspectives help shape him into the friend that he is the husband that he now is and created a healthy balance for him for sure and a lot of communication and respect will have to go into this to make sure that everybody's on the same page and comfortable with this. Haley's take on this about the conversation is that, you know, there are times that you're like, um, hmm, could I date this guy as a closest friend? And then you look at him and it's like, oh, that's my brother. No, thanks. It's just part of the conversation you got to have and the boundaries that you have to put in place when it comes to guys and girls being friends. And Jamie asked uh, Eric, would this pose a problem in your relationship? He said, I don't think so because I know she has guy friends and I understand that and I'm not taking 
that away from her. I'm looking forward to even meeting her guy friends, which is something that we talked about doing in the future. And we'll talk more about it and definitely come to an understanding about it for sure. So that's good that he's definitely open to some conversation. Of course, we don't really get that in the show because, you know, it you know, it brings drama, but at least on Unfiltered, he's able to express what his true feelings are in that regard. So now it comes back on to Haley and Jamie says, when it comes to showing affection, you hold your cards close to your chest. And Jake had no problem pointing that out. And we saw the clip where Jake is talking about how he's wondering where her level of comfort is when it comes to intimacy, like holding hands and stuff like that. Um, does it make sense? You know, for you, you seem to be more reserved with that stuff. I initiate all of the contact with that. He begins to second guess himself a little bit and ask whether, you know, she really likes him or not, you know, and to whether or not do that type of stuff. So Jamie said, you know what, break down all of that. And Haley said, you know, at this point, I'm a firm believer of, you know, like personalities and attraction. Maybe I'm not attracted to him initially, but if your personality is great, I can totally find myself becoming more attracted to you at this point. However, I'm not really vibing with his personality. And so that's why now I'm starting to back away. And um, we can definitely tell that this is a situation in this couple that she is not only have an issue with attraction physically, but she's also not attracted to his personality. So it's going to be interesting watching this couple going first forward, I should say, to see what happens with them. Um, and then the question goes to Eric and his intimacy with Virginia. And he says that he and Virginia initiate intimacy at different levels and it's been okay with us. We're just going with the flow. I think she's doing the same. We're just kind of letting things unfold the way that they need to. Um, I don't think anyone is doing anything out of the way. We just go on with the flow. And Ryan says his affection with Clara, we're not huge PDA people, but I think that we are very affectionate with each other in our private time. He definitely is not the kiss and tell type, which is totally understandable. And she said, Haley, how are you feeling about the conversation with Jake? Um, she said it was difficult. Um, it's supposed to be a happy time. Um, I didn't want it to be like, Hey, by the way, I'm not feeling you right now. I'm sure that's not easy for anybody to hear at this point. So yeah, it's a tough one. I mean, it's, the, it's two couples out of this situation where attraction and connection is up in the air. So now it moves on to the honeymoon's excursion where, you know, we had the situation with Chris, Clara and Virginia um, and of course he talking about the fake concern that they had about the new news about the pregnant ex-girlfriend. And so Jamie asked him, you know, Eric, what it was it like seeing all this playback and having Chris talk to your wife like that? And he said, I mean, it wasn't good at all. I don't think any man should talk to someone like that. I feel like I needed to defend Virginia maybe a little bit more, but I just didn't want things to get into a physical capacity there. So I was kind of really didn't know what to say or what to do. Um, it's a tough position to actually be in. And, you know, it escalated really fast. I think boundaries is a big issue with anything. You know, when somebody says, stop, stop, you know, you don't want it to turn into something huge. And with Ryan, Ryan says that, you know, the tough part about all of this is two people trying to communicate and resolve something, but maybe collectively as a group, it wasn't communicating effectively enough to get their point across. And especially in this environment and this scenario, it's tough. You know, um, everybody's emotions are high. No one's listening to hear, you know, everybody's listening to respond, you know, um, and it's a tough uh, scenario for sure. Um, and then, of course, Jamie asked Haley's take. And Haley said that she didn't think it was that bad the way that they handle it. Um, but she do think that the girls like Clara and Virginia were coming from a really good place. 
she met all of the girls before the, you know, we met the husband. So they had more time to bond with them and that they were coming from a place of concern. And, um, of course, um, we had Jamie ask Eric, you know, what are your hopes for Chris and Paige? He said he wished the best. Um, Paige is such a sweet girl. As long as she happy and she thinks that she can work on this with him and get past it, then I wish them both the best. And then it switches to the clip of the cocktail party disagreement where, of course, you know, Chris had already apologized. Virginia and Eric arrived late. Uh, Eric, you know, went in with how he said he was scaring people. It went left. It escalated. We all remember that scene. So Jamie asked, you know, of course, what were the thoughts about what happened at the cocktail party? And Ryan went first. He said he didn't think that Virginia and Eric added fuel to the fire. No, not at all. He said that tensions were already so high that that conversation that was going on was doomed to fail even before it started. And, you know, of course, Jamie asked Eric in retrospect, would you have done anything differently? And Eric said, you know what, maybe I should have said something um, not in front of everyone. I maybe should have set him down alone. But it just escalated so quickly, and I just maybe thought we can say a few sentences, have a nice dinner, and that's what I was really trying to get out of that, but it definitely went differently. And Haley said she was removed from the situation, um, had nothing to do with it. She was just eating my popcorn on the side, and uh, Jamie was like, you had a front row seat to everything. Haley said, I think think that they were all coming from good places but tensions were still high it was so fresh everything was so fresh and it just kind of exploded and of course remember chris had an apology to the table apologized to ryan and clara before eric and virginia got there and eric take on that was that if you know he and virginia had heard the whole spiel and listen to it. He said he think things would have happened differently. And Jamie asked, you know, are you guys done with Chris at this point? And Eric says, you know, hey, if he want to reach out one day and just have a conversation and resolve all of these things, he's open to it for sure. But right now, we need some time away from each other, he says. So now Haley's in the hot seat. And we see the whole situation where, um, in her case, she did not hit the jackpot on the honeymoon. Um, she went home empty-handed, um, where Jacob was calling her a liar. And how she um, was downstairs with the couples and left him out and didn't communicate it. And, you know, that whole thing. So this is where Haley walks us through the situation. She actually says it's supposed to have been a girl's night. So she went down to Eric and Virginia's room to pick up Virginia. And, uh, of course, they were all going down, Clara as well. Um, and what happened was Eric wanted to tag along. Both of the guys wanted to tag along. And, you know, she was like, they're here for the girl talk too. So she said, fine. But, I, you know, she said it wasn't nothing intentionally. I did actually need a break. And, of course, Jamie said, you know, so you're saying that, you know, you wasn't trying to avoid him and that this was a couple thing and you lied to him. She was like, no, I would never intentionally do anything like that. It was just the circumstances. And Ryan and Eric, you know, he was like, you know, hey, we were just, you know, tagging along with them. You know, we didn't try to run. We didn't try to make anything uncomfortable. Ryan said, it's only been four days. So the communication style, you're going to have some disconnect. People's wires are going to get crossed. You just have to make sure you address those things. So Jamie asked them how they each feel about their marriages. Um, Eric says he's feeling hopeful. You know, we get along so well. We're attracted to each other. We have a connection and those are things to build on. Haley says we have some ups and downs. Uh, she's hopeful that they can communicate and get on the same page. So she'll see what happened. And then as for Ryan, he's been appreciative of a lot of things that's happened over the honeymoon. We've come on the other side of this strong and created a bond. And, you know, he didn't expect anything to happen as well as it did. And even though it's been seven days, it feels like seven months. So he's happy. 
So let's do our post notification shout outs. If you want to be shouted out, comment down below. I will see you and find you and shout you out. The first one goes to Lee Ann. Thank you so much for your comment. I really appreciate it and stay tuned. Uh, Mimi T, I'm glad you also enjoyed the recap. Thank you for your comment and your engagement. And last but not least, Shirley Spice for Life. I'm glad you enjoyed the unfiltered reviews as well. Thank you so much as well. So until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon.